And this has to do with politics now, the big story we're watching play out in Pennsylvania and the special election there developments now. Only one day left until voters cast their ballots. The latest polling shows yet again a dead heat between the Democrat candidate Connor Lamb and Republican Rick Saccone. We've been looking this kind of day by day. Those numbers are holding. President Trump traveled to the Keystone State over the weekend to campaign for the Republican candidate Rick Saccone. Both political sides making their final pitches ahead of tomorrow's vote. Watch. Here's the problem. As soon as he gets in, he's not going to vote for us. He's going to vote the party line. He has to. And if he doesn't, he's never going to a chairman of a committee. He's, you know, it's a whole crazy system. But he's going to vote the party line. He doesn't care about us. Whether it's the pension of a union member or the Social Security and Medicare benefits of every American, these programs reflect the hard work and pay of people over decades. We are ready to step up and lead, and we will keep the promises that we've made. All right, let's bring in the power panel now. RNC spokeswoman Kaylee McEnany, former director of strategic communications for Hillary Clinton, Adrian Elrod. I want to get straight away. Uh, Kaylee, why is this race so tight? Well, it's tight because you have a Democrat that's posing as essentially a, a pro-Trump candidate. He says he's pro-gun. He says he's pro-tariff, uh, so on and so forth. He says he's personally uh, against abortion while publicly um, advocating for late-term <clears throat> abortion. This is someone who is trying desperately to be a pro-Trump Republican, and that's why this is close. But look, make no mistake about it, Connor Lamb is not pro-Trump. He's a Democrat. He's a puppet of Nancy Pelosi. And if the voters of this district, and I know that they went for Trump by 20 percent, if they want Trump governance in Washington, they have to go with Rick Saccone. Adrian Elrod, what happens if the Republicans win in the state tomorrow? What does that mean for Democrats? You've poured so much money into this race. He's been able to raise it locally as well. And you just heard Kaylee call him a poser politically. Yeah, look, I mean, what it means for Democrats is that this is a seat that Republicans should have held on to. Let's be clear, there may be a slight Democratic voter registration in this district, which is what the Republican pushback tends to be. But McCain carried this district, Romney carried this district. Trump, as Kaylee noted, won by 20 plus points. Mm -hmm. So the fact that if Connor Lamb even comes within one or two points of, of winning, this is a huge, huge fail for Republicans. All right. The president calls him Lamb the sham. Uh, Kaylee, what does it mean that they have a, a, a candidate that needs to do all of these things away from, oh, I'm not going to vote for Nancy Pelosi, away from the left moving left? That's right, because the far left base of the Republican Party does not represent the average American voter. And you see this with Connor Lamb's candidacy. You know, he's it's so interesting. You have a Democrat saying, I won't vote for Nancy Pelosi. And by the way, I'm not running against Trump. That tells you all you need to know. This is Trump country. The voters love him. You saw his crowd Saturday night. They were energized. This is within the margin of error. And we had our secret weapon, President Trump, out there Saturday. I'd be very worried if I was Connor Lamb, because President Trump can swing this election. Secret weapon, one of the most known people in the world helping out this candidate. Real quickly, your last words, Adrian. No, again, Connor Lamb is running as an independent-minded Democrat. You know, I worked at the DCCC during the 0506 cycle when Democrats took back control of Congress. We recruited moderate Democrats who fit the profile of their district, who oftentimes were pro-Second Amendment, were pro-life. That's the kind of candidate that Connor Lamb is. He fits the profile of his district. And even if he becomes within two or three points right. of winning, it is a victory for him. The president says he's 5-0. and oh. Congressional wins and these special elections. Ladies, good to see you. Thank you. You too. Good to Thanks. see you.